Hello, everyone. It is 10, 10 a.m. Eastern, 10 minutes past the top of the hour, wherever you are, and it's time to start this round of lightning talks, round one. I'm Josh Wilson. I'm going to be moderating, which means I'll be swapping out permissions in the background. Emceeing this round of lightning talks is the, the fabulous yodeling Martin Ramsey. So, Martin, take it away. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I probably deserve that. <laughs> well, good good morning, everyone. Um, as Josh said, I'll be your MC for these lightning talks, and my job is to keep things moving and make sure that we get to hear from all of these wonderful presenters that have uh, queued up for this session and two more sessions that will happen today. Um, I have to tell you, I love lightning talks. Uh, when when Josh and Wilma asked me if I would moderate, I was happy to say yes because these are these quick, high-intensity ways to learn a lot about Sakai in a very short time. And I think you'll find them very engaging. I, I want to encourage you to type questions in the chat, um, you know, ask, ask questions. As we have time during the presentation, we'll slip them in. Um, each presenter is going to have a short time, so, you know, it, this is going to be fast and furious. Uh, but meanwhile, let me also encourage you to note who the presenters are that you're interested in and follow up with them through the Sakai Virtual Conference site in Sakai, the site that we're in right now, or offline afterwards. I mean, make sure that um, you you know who these people are because this is how we build the community and the community is all over the world and it's, it's an exciting community to be a part of. So uh, here's how this is gonna work. I'm gonna call on each presenter in the order they appear on this uh, the agenda here. Um, when it's your turn, you can take the presenter controls and either display your slideshow or share your screen, whatever's appropriate for what you have to say to us. And uh, basically you'll have nine minutes. I've got a timer. And uh, as we get uh, close to the end of your allotted time, I'll message you saying, you know, wrap it up. Um, and But we would hope that you would leave some room for Q&A at the end uh, so that people can ask their questions. All right, are we, are we clear on the ground rules? All right, so <laughs> without further ado, Josh, I'm gonna call on you first. Uh, Josh Wilson almost needs no introduction at all, but he's with Longsight and he has been shepherding the roadmap into um, existence and, and really uh, helping bring it along. So he's gonna talk about the Sakai roadmap. Do we build new features or do we optimize existing ones? He put out a survey a while back and we responded. So Josh, you're up. Hey everyone. So let me uh, turn on screen share for you. Um, let's see, I think we want this one. All right. Got Everyone it. seeing my very happy roadmap slides. So in past years, I have done a longer workshop where we gather lots of feedback. This year, we're going to try something different and do a roadmap lightning talk, uh, lightning talk now. And later on, there'll be a, uh, a birds of a feather discussion uh, about technical topics related to the roadmap. So feel free to come to that a little bit later on. So let me let me get you started with uh, with some context, and then I want to offer you all the same opportunity to give feedback that I offered the steering team. So Martin was referring to a, um, some questions that I posed to the roadmap steering team, a couple of folks who helped make this process as, as great as it can be. And I wanna get all of your feedback as well. So there are 98 people in this room, which is super exciting. So I'm really glad to get all of this feedback. And this is something that Sakai does that uh, no other LMS does to our knowledge, which is to, drive the product in the direction that the community wants it to go and to gather lots of iterative feedback to make that happen. So, so let us drive on here. So why do we do a roadmap in the first place? And I think the reason for Sakai to do a roadmap is perhaps different than other uh, groups that you've been involved with, commercial vendors you might've been involved with. So for me, this roadmap is to help keep us all aligned and rowing in the same direction. Sometimes it's easy with so many people offering so many creative ideas to pull in lots of different directions and agreeing in advance on a roadmap for three years helps us make sure that we're all going in the same direction. And it also helps us speak with one voice. So when we talk about Sakai on our campuses, when we talk about Sakai in the world, uh, the roadmap helps us stay uh, talking about the same things and emphasizing the same kinds of things, which just makes sense. There's so much noise in this world of ours. Making sure that we do whatever we can to cut through it is really important, and the roadmap is a piece of that. So how does this process work? So in October, I solicited preliminary ideas from the steering team. So that is... Uh, that's a group of folks and I can I can name them, but I can never name them all at once. So uh, 
I can, for those who are interested, I can put their names in the chat a little bit later on. Um, so then in, uh, in November and December, there's community feedback opportunities, lots of them. This is one of them. Uh, I will bring an iterated version of this roadmap based upon your feedback today to the various Sakai working groups. So those groups will have a chance to weigh in sometimes once, sometimes twice iteratively on the roadmap. There'll be another steering team review after the first of the year. And then whenever we have either Sakai camp or Sakai days in the January, February timeframe, we'll have final consideration of a third version of the roadmap. And then we will adopt it, which will help us move forward for the next three years. We do this every single year. So this year's roadmap is gonna be focused on our progress for 2024 through 2026. It is an update of our current roadmap for 2023 to 2025. So we, we do this process every year of iterating the roadmap, rethinking what we're doing, making sure that we're all in alignment and pushing the roadmap out an additional year. So there are some things that are different this year, though. So uh, we expect a whole lot of coming innovation from our friends in Spain. So those of you who attend the featured session a little bit later on uh, by Daniel Marino, he's going to talk a whole lot about the plans that our Spanish colleagues have, six or seven institutions in Spain uh, that all adopt Sakai and all work together, their plans for innovating in Sakai. So this is pretty exciting stuff. and. Definitely, I'll, I'll be excited to hear more about this, and I'm sure you all will as well. So the, the question is, uh, you know, with the roadmap definitely featuring these Spanish innovations, uh, what, if anything, do the rest of us focus on? So, and the question that I've posed to folks, and I will pose to you in a moment, is do we focus on more new feature development, or do we focus on making existing features work better? And I have a poll for all of you that I would like to put out to you. And this is your opportunity to answer this question. So I'm gonna put the link to the poll in the chat. And then I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna turn off this, my, the screen share of my slide, and I'm gonna turn on the screen share of the responses from the poll. So if you have, a, if you can go to this link right here and you can answer, that would be great. And I will show off your responses in real time. This will be very exciting. So I know that we are, um, let's see, we have about three plus minutes left before my time is up. So um, if you guys can answer the poll, I will share as many of your responses as I can. This poll will remain open throughout the day and you'll have a chance to respond whenever you would like to. All right, so I'm sharing the poll responses. We don't, we have got one response so far. So I will just wait a, a few more seconds here. We've got a second response, four of them now. So I definitely welcome as much feedback as I can get. There are 104 people in this room. I would love to have as many of you answering this poll as possible. So this is a great opportunity for your feedback to help drive the, the development of Sakai. So what do we do to complement the great work of our friends in Spain? Do we work on additional new feature development? Do we work on making other, making our, our existing features feel, uh, feel and work better? So here are the responses that we have so far. We've got 26 in the can at this point. So, so the first question, how little or how much do you think we should focus on continued new feature development? So this is a, this is a four point scale where four is a ton and one is not at all. So you can see that there is a fair amount of, uh, of there's 17 responses on two, which is not a whole lot on continued new feature development, uh, some responses on three. And as we look at the next question, how little or how much do you think we should focus on making existing features work better? It's that same four point scale where one is not very much at all and four is a lot. So uh, 22 out of our 41 responses are in favor of making existing features work better with uh, the vast majority of the rest of the responses on number three, which is uh, quite a lot of interest in making existing features work better. So, uh, so we've got 45 responses at this point, and I know that I have about a minute and a half left, so let's, let's move on here. So here I offered a, a few features that came from the steering group, kind, the kinds of things that we might focus on. Um, so, there are, so let's see, as, as we look at these responses, so course analytics gets very much and much, quite a lot of responses there. 
uh, exceptions is a little bit less. Uh, it's got a lot in the in the little and much, but not so much in very much. Uh, lessons has quite a bit of interest. Uh, grader and grading, course import and copy is something we've talked about a whole lot in in recent years. That's something that is of particular interest to me and to some others. So there's definitely some interest there. So I will crunch these numbers and share them with the community going forward. But uh, with 53 responses in the can, it definitely looks like we are looking at the right kinds of things to be focused on. And there are 19 responses with some other areas of Sakai that we should focus on improving. So I see overall usability, I see Samago, uh, I see learning objectives and outcomes. That's something that I have been talking with, uh, talking about with some of you. So there's a mobile application, there are a bunch of other things. So um, with only 20 seconds left, I don't have time to go through all of these, but definitely if you've shared your name in, uh, in, in the form, I may come back to you for some extra feedback. Uh, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm Wilson at longsite.com. I would love to have any feedback that you can offer uh, within the context of this feedback opportunity. There goes my timer. And, uh, and and outside. So let me uh, let me stop now. Let me turn off the screen share. Let me encourage you to continue answering this uh, this poll throughout the rest of the day. I'd be really grateful and thank you for your feedback. So much more to come on the roadmap. And there's there's your timer going off for me too. <laughs> so well done, Josh. Um, and and can I say to people that my goodness, you just experienced something that. You won't experience in, an, in another software community. Um, you know, you you have a chance to be a part of uh, something great and influencing the future of this. And we talk to people all the time about th that's just such a new concept for them. They just can't get their mind wrapped around it. 